Let's go live to New Delhi now and speak to the senior journalist, the political analyst Javed Ansari. Javed, thank you very much for joining us. Is it unfair to say that Modi has focused people on the politics of personality? And indeed, is there anything wrong with that? Well, there's absolutely no denying the fact that this is a mandate for Mr. Narendra Modi. There are a lot of people who have bought into his argument that he is the only one in this country who can provide a decisive and strong leadership. They have been willing to forgive and forget some of the unfulfilled promises like lack of jobs he had in 2014, promised 2 million jobs per year. He failed to deliver that. They've, they've, they've decided to give him the benefit of doubt on that. They've, they've decided to forget that GST and demonetization has led to a lot of economic hardships, especially for the middle class and the poor. They've bought into the fact that the country is safe in his hands, particularly after the Pulwama tragedy and his decision to order airstrikes against Pakistan. So, yes, this election was all about Mr. Narendra Modi, and the BJP owes it to him that they are getting a second successive term in office. Uh, you mentioned some of the economic challenges that he faces. Most other countries, uh, when asked if they would take the, uh, the rate of growth that India has had since Narendra Modi came into power, they'd grab it with both hands. India might be uh, a special kind of example where 6 7% isn't good enough. What does he have to do in the next five years to reverse uh, the economic decline that's been happening in the past few years? Well, he must begin with providing jobs, creating a jobs. A jobless economy it, it does no good to the people unless they, unless they, they are guaranteed a, a certain amount of income every month. This will not happen. There's an aggregating crisis staring India in the face. He needs to address those issues. For now, largely also on account of the fact that the opposition did not either have a credible message or a credible leader, as opposed to Mr. Narendra Modi, the people of India have decided in substantial number to give Mr. Modi the benefit of doubt. A couple of years down the line, this may not hold true. Sure. You know, you mentioned the opposition, and obviously we're talking here about the main opposition uh, party, Congress. What has happened to Congress? Is this possibly the end of the Nehru Gandhi dynasty? Because this is a terrible result for Congress. Indeed, it is. This is the uh, this is perhaps uh, one of the worst results in its history. It's only marged, won seven more seats than it had won last time. Last time they had 44. This is time 51. There are growing concerns, and there are questions being asked in the media and within the party about the wisdom of the current leadership that the Congress party has. Uh, having said that, the fact that the Congress has done badly is not only on account of its leadership, Mr. Gandhi. Mr. Rahul Gandhi has given it his best. Sometimes the best is not enough. He was just up against somebody who, was, who, who had a lot more going for him than the Congress. The Congress has been in decline since 1989. Right now, it appears to be hitting almost rock bottom. How much has Narendra Modi given Indians a new sense of identity? It wasn't that long ago, OK, a few decades ago, that India was known as a member of the non-aligned movement. That almost summed India up, that while it was uh, concerning itself with what was happening domestically, internationally, it wasn't projecting itself in terms of the size that it has and the number of people that it has, the population size that it has. Is there a new sense of identity that Narendra Modi has given Indians to say, yes, we're Indians and we actually can affect what's happening in the rest of the world because we're an important country? Well, certainly, that's one of the major achievements of Mr. Narendra Modi. There are a lot of people who believe that India has been punching way above its waist, weight, but nonetheless, he's a lot of people, common people, believe that under Mr. Narendra Modi, India's voice is being heard, that India is a power to be reckoned with, and that India uh, is now willing to take the fight to the enemy camp, especially with relation to Pakistan and also to some extent with China, that India is no longer a pushover. Javed, really appreciate it. Thank you for joining us on TRT World. Javed Ansari, senior journalist and political analyst in New Delhi.